In this video, we will discuss the 9701 A-Levels Chemistry Question Paper 5-2 of the examination series May-June 2023 and during the question, uh, we will also keep on discussing some important examination tips to be taken care during the paper. In this video, we will be just discussing question 1 and here is question 1 where it says that three students are asked to prepare a sample of benzoic acid from the alkaline hydrolysis of methyl benzoate. Sodium benzoate is the salt formed which is then acidified with hydrochloric acid to form methyl benzoic acid. So here is the equation where the reactions are shown and the procedure are also given. You can always pause the video and read the steps here. I'll just read few ones that says put 1.242 gram of liquid methyl benzoate in 50 centimeter cube of round bottom flask and we prepare 100 centimeter cube of 1 mole per dm cube of aqueous sodium hydroxide which is again used here according to the equation to react with methyl benzoate to prepare benzoic acid and so here are the few important starting steps we will go through you can uh, go through the next steps and let's see what are the re next questions related to it so here it says question 1a calculate the volume of methyl benzoate used in step 1 give your answer to the nearest 0 0.05 centimeter cube and here is the density of methyl benzoate given if we are supposed to calculate the volume then the formula of the volume should be mass upon density so here the question says calculate the volume and we already know the mass which is given in the question 1.242 gram of methyl benzoate so here the density is also known and the mass is 1.242 and the divide by density that is 1.08 gram so the answer should be 1.15 centimeter cube so our answer that there is the volume of methyl benzoate is 1.15 centimeter cube the next equation sub question says identify a suitable piece of apparatus to measure the volume of methyl benzoate required in step 1 and now this is very precise 1.15 centimeter cube so the most accurate apparatus can be burette so the apparatus required is burette if we go ahead with the next sub question it says calculate the mass of NaOH that is needed to prepare the solution in step 2 now in step 2 again we are supposed to prepare 100 centimeter cube of 1 mole per dm cube aqueous NaOH and to prepare that what is the mass of sodium hydroxide required that is the question we are supposed to prepare 100 centimeter cube of 1 mole dm cube NaOH so to from 100 centimeter cube of 1 mole per dm cube we can calculate the moles of NaOH so the moles of NaOH is equal to concentration into volume where concentration is 1 mole per dm cube and volume is 100 centimeter cube that should be divided by 1000 so our answer is 0 0.1 and from moles we can calculate the mass that is n into the molecular mass of NaOH that is 40 so the moles is 0 0.1 into the molecular mass of NaOH which is 40 and that gives us the answer of 4.0 gram so here we get the answer mass of NaOH required is 4.0 gram to prepare 100 centimeter cube of 1 mole per dm cube NaOH let's go ahead with the next sub question b where it says a student added the mass of naoh calculated in a3 into a beaker describe the steps the student should take to make 100 centimeter cube of one mole dm cube naoh give the names and capacity of any apparatus that should be used write your answer using a series of numbered steps so if we are talking about series of number steps to prepare 100 centimeter cube of naoh solution and we have 4 gram of NaOH so we can start with dissolve first step that is dissolve 4 gram of NaOH with small amount of distilled water small amount of distilled water into a beaker 
so it's already transferred into a beaker so we can add a small amount of distilled water into the beaker and dissolve it the next step can be that transfer all the solution transfer the dissolved solution so transfer the solution into 100 centimeter cube transfer the solution into 100 centimeter cube of a volumetric flask now as we are preparing 100 centimeter cube we need to have an 100 centimeter cube specific of volumetric flask now the next step here this is the second step the third step can be that transfer the washings washings of beaker transfer the washings of beaker now this is necessary because all of the NaOH which is even in the uh, beaker stuck to the wall of the beaker that has to be transferred so transfer the washings of the beaker into volumetric flask that is again an important step which is because here it's a three mark question and such points are important so transfer the washings into volumetric flask then the last step can be fill the flask up to the mark with distilled water up to the mark with distilled water now to mention distilled water every time again is an important because all the solutions has to be prepared in distilled water so here are all the important steps necessary steps for the three mark question now the next sub question c says that student prepared 0.1 mole dm cube NaOH instead of 1 mole per dm cube NaOH so you can see that a mistake of preparing a solution was done and the concentration was decreased 10 times in step 2 state how this would affect the final mass of benzoic acid formed explain using calculations how you came to this conclusion now here the molecular mass of methyl benzoate is given which is 136 and the molecular mass of benzoic acid which is given is 122 effect on the mass and the explanation so here what we can do is first show the calculation and let's then come to the conclusion so effect on the mass we will discuss later where we let's discuss first about the explanation where first let's calculate the moles of methyl benzoate that is c6h5 coo ch3 to calculate the moles we can divide it by mass to 1.242 divide by its mr which is already given that is 136 so the moles calculated will be 0 0.00 913 these are the moles of methyl benzoate let's also calculate the moles of NaOH moles of NaOH is direct that is concentration into volume so concentration calculated was 0 0.1 divided by the volume uh, concentration to volume that is 10 so divide by 1000 to change into dm cube so the moles of NaOH here used are 0.001 now we can see that the moles of NaOH has decreased much compared to the moles of benzoic acid and as we have already seen uh, the equation above where 1 is to 1 ratio of methyl benzoate and NaOH are required now NaOH becomes the limiting reagent and that's why the uh, mass of methyl benzoic acid benzoic acid calculated will be very very less so the uh, effect on the mass we can write is that mass of benzoic acid produced will be less or you can say decreases mass of benzoic acid produced decreases so we can show the calculation that NaOH used NaOH used is limiting that is much less than required so as mass of NaOH used is limiting so benzoic acid produced also decreases in our earlier steps you could have observed that the NaOH 
used was in excess so here the NaOH is limiting that produces benzoic acid in a decreased way so benzoic acid produced is less now the next sub question says explain why it is necessary to reflux the mixture in step 5 now in step 5 the mixture is heated to produce the methyl benzoate and here we do the heating with a reflux reflux is use of an upright condenser now that is done on the top of a flask wherever the reaction mixture is going on so using such an upright uh, condenser is just because we don't allow the volatile compounds to evaporate so and we heat it the heating is necessary so the rate of reaction increases so to increase the rate of reaction increase the rate of reaction we heat it and we reflux it so that the mixture or the reactants don't evaporate out so increase the rate of reaction without evaporation of without evaporation of reactants or substances so this is the reason that we are heating it but with an reflux now explain why a naked flame is not used in step 5 so for not using the flame the reason is that the substances are flammable so we can write the mixture or the substances is flammable so to avoid the danger of burning we cannot use direct flame so the mixture is flammable this is the main reason we can write it in short here the third question explain the purpose of transferring the liquid in step 5 we are transferring the liquid to something else the other flask the reason is that we need to filter out the anti bumper granules filter out the anti bumping granules which we had already added in the flask to avoid the bumping of the reaction mixture so to remove it out we are transferring the liquid in step 6 uh, next question says e1 explain what the students should do to confirm that the mixture had been acidified in step 7 now if we are talking about the identification of acid the only thing or the only solution is add an indicator so we can say that add few drops of indicator few drops of indicator when where the acid will show the color change the acid will show the color change so that's the reason that we can add an indicator and we can confirm the mixture has been acidified in step 7 the next sub question is describe what you would expect to observe as the sodium benzoate mixture is acidified in step 7 so to know this what is happening in step 7 and what will happen on as adding the acid in step 7 let's first understand what is a step 7 it says that allow the reaction mixture to cool and carefully pour the liquid into a beaker where now we can say that the sodium benzoate salt is already formed now acidified the liquid with dilute hydrochloric acid now on adding dilute hydrochloric acid we know that the sodium benzoate salt will change into benzoic acid and as benzoic acid is less soluble in the cold water so the precipitates will be seen the precipitates will be seen on adding acid so precipitates seen that is the observation now suggest why it is necessary to cool the mixture before filtering in step 9 now as we want to extract out the benzoic acid we are cooling it and on cooling the benzoic acid will precipitate out so that's why this happens is because the benzoic acid is less soluble in cold water so it crystallizes out and so benzoic acid is less soluble in cold water that is the answer benzoic acid is less soluble in cold water so we cool it down benzoic acid crystallizes and then we can remove it out 
the next sub question is pure benzoic acid has a melting point of 122 degree celsius the product made by student 1 has a melting point of 119 degree celsius this student suggests the melting point of the product was lower than the expected because it is contained with some water explain what the student should do to ensure that the product no longer contains water now if you want to remove all the water the main point necessary is to dry the precipitates or dry the benzoic acid or the crystals of benzoic acid so we can say that dry the precipitates dry the precipitates and reway till it shows the constant mass so reway till the constant mass is obtained constant mass is obtained this process can be repeated till we don't get the constant mass so we can keep on drying gently uh, by drying the precipitates in oven and then keep on reweighing till we get a constant mass so this is the process we generally do to obtain the dry precipitates and that is drying the precipitates into oven so we can uh, repeat the weighing till the constant mass is obtained now the next sub question says calculate the maximum mass of benzoic acid that can be formed from a 1.242 g of methyl benzoate so if we say 1.242 g of methyl benzoate is used so what is the maximum mass of benzoic acid obtained now as we know that it was 1 is to 1 ratio so the uh, moles of uh, methyl benzoate and the moles of benzoic acid should remain constant so what are we going to do is that we can calculate the moles of first methyl benzoate moles of methyl benzoate is 1.242 g divided by 136 that will give us the moles of methyl benzoate and then to obtain the mass we can multiply this moles with the mr of benzoic acid that is 122 so in short to obtain the mass we can multiply the whole of the calculation with 122 directly here and the mass obtained here is 1.11 g on calculation so this is the mass of benzoic acid obtained now here it says this is a maximum mass of benzoic acid which is obtained from our uh, experiment that should be obtained from our uh, experiment here so let me write here 1.11 g now here it says that student 3 obtained 8 0.825 g of benzoic acid from the uh, mass of methyl benzoate used that is 1.242 g so calculate the percentage yield of benzoic acid so the percentage yield here is 0.825 divided by the experimental mass which was 1. 11 g into 100 so what we have done is the actual mass divided by the experimental mass into 100 so here the answer obtained is 74.0 percentage so 74.0 percentage is the percentage yield of benzoic acid not clear bad so here we end with the question 1 and question 2 will be discussed in our next video